Hey guys, well here it is, my 125 gallon build. It's taking me long enough, but I did do it. And a special thank you to Joey Mullen. You are our Joey. He definitely, with his videos, I was definitely able to complete a lot of projects in this tank. If you do have, if you actually have watched some of his videos, you may recognize a lot of things in my tank that he had a DIY on how to do. My uh, PVC overflow and trickle filter. Also, <laughs> I want to say um, how to build a glass aquarium. This tank when I got it uh, didn't really hold water. It wasn't braced properly. The brace was broke so I had to take it apart, put it back together, reseal it. It's another thing I learned from Gerard Joey. Painting the back of the aquarium. I used a water-based acrylic paint. I used a T8 shop light. Overall, I'm very happy, guys. I mean, I did this whole build for under $300. If you look at my other video that I put on before this, of uh, that it was almost complete, I went through a cost breakdown. I think it was around $277 for this entire tank. And it's been up and running now for, I don't know, just about a week. I haven't had one leak or anything or nothing been bad. I mean, I did water test it before I did fill it up completely, so I knew I wouldn't have any leaks. But also the stand, I uh, got that from Jovi as well, just the way my corners, um, they kind of brace the whole stand. If you look at his how to build a, an aquarium stand, I did my, my corners exactly the same way to hold the weight of the entire tank. I mean, this is not a light tank. What I do have here though, some opening doors and some shelves. I'm gonna put some lights in here as well. The light from the tank is nice, I can see the bottom row, but top row and beneath are pretty dark. For all you uh, turtle people out there and reptile people, my turtle will be going in his tank eventually. I had him swimming in here earlier, he's doing really well. He um, does not go after the fish. He loves this tank. However, uh, I am going to have to reconfigure a few things because uh, I can see him getting stuck a lot under some of the rocks, especially in this corner. He gets stuck. I do not want him getting stuck and drowning, so I'm going to make sure this tank is completely safe before putting him in here. But, like I was saying, here is my above tank basking area. I'm going to be making a canopy with my UVB bulb and also my heat bulb, but here it is. Um, this is actually a cool ramp. I, I got this on Amazon.com. I think it was like something like $15 or something. <laughs> that the ramp was awesome. It went perfect with my enclosure. I, I, I'm still going to add, I think, grass or, or moss or something to the bottom here, but it works out really well. I have a DIY. Uh, um, Java moss um, wall that's going on here. I, I have to add more moss to it. I kind of bought just a little bit off of eBay and just see if it works and the thing's growing really well. And it's growing really well off of a T8 6500K uh, diamond plated uh, diamond plated light fixture. You know, really basic stuff. But here it is. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour. I know you've seen the tank, but here it is, some of my fish. Oh, and this pump right here is to my under gravel jet. This four jets, um, this pump is doing, supposed to do about 300 gallons per hour. I have it halfway turned up, so about 150 gallons per hour of water underneath the rock, so I don't really have to vacuum. 
and um, also for extra filtration, I have an uh, Aqua Clear 110, 500 gallons per hour. Um, the DIY PVC overflow is uh, this this pipe size is rated for 1,500 gallons per hour, but I have this set uh, the pump set at about around uh, 700 gallons per hour. Just keep it keep it a little bit lower lower end. I have enough filtration on this tank. Alright guys, if uh, you haven't subscribed and you like my video, please subscribe. Uh, if you've taken it this far, please give me a thumbs up and like my video. Once again, thank you to Joey. And uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.